How's it going everyone? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Wonderful Every Day. In the last episode, a lot of the events that we went through should seem very familiar because everything that went down in the last episode, I'm pretty sure went down in Takuji's route, or at least for the most part. I don't really remember what exactly transpired. All I know is, is that Takashima has been following Takuji around, being introduced to his hideout, and now we are going just a little bit further, and we're actually getting to the actual hideout here below the new pool. So let us read on. It's still very weird to see his his sprite. It's just after everything that we went through in his route, and even in Down the Rabbit Hole Part 2, it's just, I, I don't know. Actually, wait a minute. We saw his route, we saw his, um, his sprite in Down the Rabbit Hole Part 2. It was only his route. Where is my head tonight? I, it, it's taken me like five different tries to even start this episode. I'm just not in the right state of mind. Let's just get to this fucking hideout. Mami Yakun suddenly pushed on the wall. The wall gave in easily. Here we are. Home sweet home, am I right, boys? Now what I'm really interested in here, and I, I'm pretty sure it was talked about at the end of Takuji's route, but there was something that Takashima saw that just got her really distraught, and then she went back into his hideout without him here, and I'm sure that's coming up eventually. I'm I'm very curious as to what she sees that really pushes her away from Takuji. I've seen this bookshelf before. It's probably one of the schools. But there are an awful lot of books. Why did he bring those? It's not like he was showing off or anything. Why the fuck did you bring them here? I actually, I'm, I'm probably asked the same things or just wondered the same things back in his route. But like, why are they here after, you know, everything we saw from his point of view? Like, why would he... Why would he indulge just a little bit more? I don't get that. Hell yeah, I do. I don't think that's right. Well, that's not important. But really, that's not right. <laughs> He's probably wrong about that. I took a bottle off his food shelf. A bottle of something. First, she tried to look down and make out what she was coming to. 
but it was too dark to see anything. Then she looked at the sides of the well, and noticed that they were filled with cupboards and bookshelves. Here and there she saw maps and pictures hung upon pegs. She took down a jar from one of the shelves as she passed. It was labeled Orange Marmalade, but to her great disappointment, it was empty. She did not like to drop the jar for fear of killing something or somebody underneath, so managed to put it into one of the cupboards as she fell past it. A passage from Alice in Wonderland when she fell into the rabbit hole. That's right, this isn't the rabbit hole that leads to Wonderland. But this was the first time that Mami Akun seemed truly mysterious to me. When I came here, I felt like there was something drawing me in. Somewhere else. Somewhere other than the place I am. The world of mirrors. The world of mystery. I know that nothing like that really exists, but for some reason I had gotten the feeling that there was something different about him. Mami Akun seemed enag enigmatic at first, but... But it was just an illusion. This place lost its luster once I found that out. It was just another dull place. So that's the realization she came to, huh? Interesting. That, that this was nothing interesting. She was looking for a fun-ass time, and don't take that the wrong way. I fled that place. Behind me, Mami Akun yelled. Before, he didn't want me to come here at all. His voice suddenly sounded incredibly bothersome. God damn. I hated the sound of his voice chasing after me. Nothing interesting ever happens. Of course not. If amazing things happened every day, we would get tired of them. Life is just... <sighs> Mami Akun, huh? Honestly, I was disappointed. <laughs> so these are her true feelings. Holy shit, I'm... I don't know, I'm, I'm taken aback. Just after everything that we, that we witnessed in all of these routes so far, I guess I'm just a little taken aback that we finally understand what she was thinking. What was I expecting? Like, we all know that she's a little cuckoo in the, in the head, but... I don't know. The sun began to set. The color of the sky doesn't change with the day, but it does change with the hour. It slowly changes to yellow, and then dyes all the buildings purple. The sunset was depressing. That was because I was already tired by the time I saw the scenery. My body felt heavy, my heart felt heavy. Even though nothing happened in the day, even though it was all empty. The only things that remained after such an empty day were the weight in my body and the weight in my heart. And also a strange frustration, almost like regret. It seemed like regret even though I hadn't done anything wrong. Of course, no one could fault me for my choices today. There was no point where my empty existence could have blossomed into a bouquet of flowers. It's not like you can make life-changing choices every single day. And even if there was a bouquet of flowers to fill the hole in my life, they would wilt in just a few days. This person is more depressing than I originally thought. <laughs> Holy shit. A flower without roots withers and dies, and that's why I found the sunset incredibly depressing. The scenery was too melancholy. This melancholy scene was another. It was the scene of another conclusive ending. This is how it ended, with a heavy body and a heavy heart. It actually cheered me up a little to think that at least it was over. The melancholy scenery outside passed from the right to the left on and on repeating because this is a visual novel, and then again, any other sort of media like this would probably do the same goddamn thing. Right to left, right to left, it flowed on. 
As it flowed, the shade of purple on the buildings grew more apparent. <sighs> yeah. I feel that, brother. I mean, sister. I ate dinner and then went to my room. I idly surfed the internet on my phone. Though, it's not like it... It's not like that's any fun, excuse me there. I had gotten a friend request from some man I didn't know. He was a 30-year-old businessman. His listed interests were the same as mine, and as he, or, and he said he had become one of my fans after reading my journal. Interesting. You've got a good head on your shoulders for a girl of your age. It's nice to see that there are still some girls who think before they act. That's what he said. You like Alice in Wonderland, huh? Have oh fuck. Have you <laughs> every time, man, every time, like I always I, I think when we read, we like look ahead a little bit to see what's coming up, especially when we're reading aloud. Which is exactly what I'm doing. When I whenever I see a name like that, man, I just <laughs> I feel it, man. I feel the tension. Have you seen Jan Sfunk Sfunk Myers whatever? That's Russian, right? I want to say that's Russian. It's not German. I don't think it's German. Uh, Jan's version, Cheshire, Cheshire Cat, excuse me there. By the way, Cheshire Cat is my username. It's a very artistic film, but you're a smart, sensitive girl, so I thought you might like it. Sadly enough, I'm neither smart nor sensitive. The Jabberwockies Riddle community is having an offline meeting soon. Are you coming? If you are, I could bring the DVD for you. Unfortunately, I'm not going. I've never even been to that site. I wanted to send him a sarcastic reply like that, but of course I can't. I wasn't feeling good, so I just let it go. I aimlessly surfed the internet. Kitahai's message board Sawayaka, also known as the underground subreddit, which is, which is what I call it. They call it the school's underground message board until about half a year ago. They said horrible things about me on here. So basically, social media, but private. Got it. Well, sorry for that. I guess ugly girls shouldn't have big boobs. Uh, well, <laughs> now I, you know what? I'm, I'm just not going to touch that topic. I was going to bring something up, man, but we got to get into the content here. Lately, there haven't, there, there hadn't, excuse me, been any new posts about me. Since about the same time, the bullying stopped. <laughs> I checked out the anonymous bullying prevention forum that I had signed up for back then. My thread was still there. They told me to keep fighting, to never give up. Yeah, yeah, the same sort of thing, you know? Telling me to never give up, their advice only made it worse. It's like telling somebody, don't kill yourself, everything will get better over time. Like, yeah man, you're, you're really gonna, you're gonna prevent that, alright? Thanks for those strong words. Now I definitely won't self-harm. I'm getting into some really deadly territory right now. Like I said, my, my head is just not where it needs to be tonight. I don't know why. But there were also a lot of people who told me how to solve my problems. They really helped me. But one of them was a 28-year-old man. I was scared of him, since he seemed more like a stalker than anything. <laughs> Yeah, probably. At first, I thought he was really nice, since he told me the phone number for, the, for a hotline for people who had been bullied. After I gave him my phone number, he called almost every night. He asked what I was doing. He asked if I wanted to go, to go somewhere to hang out. It had nothing to do with bullying anymore. I got scared and changed my phone number. But there were lots of good things, too. The women in particular were always nice. They were always kind, and I could relax, since I knew they didn't have any ulterior motives. But one day, all the bullying suddenly stopped, because I was seriously injured. It was painful, but now that I look back on it, it wasn't so bad. 
Now I don't need to come to the site anymore. The new school semester started. Are you still doing all right, Cheshire Cat? By the way, I hate bullies is the 28 year old stalker. You hate bullies, but you're just fine with stalkers, huh? She hasn't posted anything new. I guess she's fine. It's been a long time. I guess nothing new has happened. I'm praying for you. I hope your life goes better from here on out. She was one of the kind women. I wanted to tell her what it, to tell her what happened after that, but I wanted to avoid the stalker, so I didn't post on there anymore. The bullying really had stopped. The March Hare. She always talks about praying. And she's always very polite and kind. She seems like a good person. I really wish I could tell her what happened. That the bullying stopped. I wish I could at least tell her. <sighs> I looked at the clock. It was already past midnight. What the fuck, man? Man, we gotta get to sleep. We, we got school to go to. Man, I'd be having a fucking heart attack if, um, if it was past midnight. Like, I, let's say I was playing something or recording something. I'd lost track of time, which is, is very, you know, unlikely to happen. I, I do keep a pretty close eye on the, on the time. But I wake up at 4.30 in the morning so I can get my ass over to the university, uh, three hours later. <laughs> So, if it was past midnight, I'd, I'd be freaking out a little bit more, instead of being like, Aw oh, man, well, guess I gotta get to sleep. But that's just me. That night, I had a dream. A dream I've never had before. But one that seems so familiar. Maybe it was a dream from long ago. The dream made me sad. Then it disappeared. Yeah, that's how it goes. The fuck is happening here? I, I guess we just won't know. I still am very confused by the transitioning. Like, I have no idea what that all entails. The sound on the rooftop was harsh. I ended up skipping class today, too. Though no one forced me to do it today. It just happened. It wasn't really aiming for perfect attendance, or I wasn't, excuse me. But still, once I skipped class a single time, it became a lot easier to do it again. That's me with my college classes. You know, skip one day, you know, it's a little bit of an inconvenience, maybe not today, we'll, we'll go again tomorrow, or whatever. But then next week you're like, well if I did it last week and there were no repercussions, then let's do it again. It seemed fun. I can probably get away with skipping every once in a while. I came to the rooftop because it didn't seem like anyone else would be up here, and it really was deserted. What should I do for an hour? I put my hand on the fence as I walked across the rooftop. The school's layout is pretty complicated, so the roof isn't a normal rectangle either. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like that from the fucking background that we have here. Building A is shaped like a cross. The scenery changed as I walk, or walked, excuse me. The building at B and C rooftops are closed off. Mamiya-kun? Why? That's building B, so it should be off limits. Why is he over there? When I squinted, I could see stairs on the other side of the fence. Building B has one less floor, so the stairs led down. It doesn't stand out since it's below the lip of the rooftop, but it really is a pretty big staircase. Huh? Did he forget about yesterday already? Well, 
高島ザクロそうなんだ Holy fucking shit wait a, wait a goddamn minute Okay Um hmm Remember in Remember in his route when he was told that there was like a second version of him, like a fake version that looked just like him. And I thought it was Yuki because she was the one that was going against everything that he was promoting, you know, all the religious bullshit and that the end of the world was coming. So was I wrong? And was there actually like another. Another Mami a Takuji walking around spreading the fucking wisdom, but the opposite wisdom? <laughs> Holy shit, man. What does he mean by that? But still, it was just yesterday. I don't really care about him, but it really bothers me that he doesn't even seem to remember me. ま、ま、そんなところかな。そうなんだ。あんま良くないよ。そういうの。ま、マミヤ君だってサボってるじゃない。僕はいいんだよ。なんでサボりの常連だからね。まあ、理由なんていいじゃん。でも、あんまりサボるのは良くないよ。君って確か真面目じゃなかったっけ。ま、真面目なわけじゃないけど。そう。まあ、どうでもいいや。What is it? Yesterday when I left, his voice was so bothersome, but now he almost sounds different. But his voice hasn't changed. Now that he mentioned it, I didn't notice because I was talking to him. It's pretty cool here. ビートの屋上はこんなに涼しいんだけどね。サブルには最適というわけなんだ。ま、そういうことかな。マミヤ君はここで何をやってるの？何をやっているように見える？読書かな。ご命と。ラノベ読んでるの？ラノベ好きな
ごく最近の翻訳だからそんなに難しくないよまあ普通に義務教育を終えた人なら読めるんじゃないの君はちゃんと義務教育を終えた一応ってそれって当たり前じゃないそうかなら読めると思うよどんなお話詩人見学理学者でかつ音楽家17世紀に実在したそんな人物の物語だよ実はいや戯曲だよあくまでもね「武男の片思いの純愛」を書いた「武男の片思い」「私は女の優しさというものを知らずに来た」え「母親は私を醜い子だと思った」妹もいなかったし成人してからはずっと女たちのあざけりの目が怖かったそんな人の片思いの純愛劇片思いの純愛そういう本面白いああもちろん僕はとても好きだよ<笑>マミヤくん laughed kindly 何か本でも読むえ暇じゃないサボってる時間って結構さ僕何冊か本あるよ何か読んでみたらうんラノベがいい、うん、なんか間宮くんのおすすめあるかなラノベのあいやそれ限定じゃなくてどんなのが好みなのあんまり詳しくないからわからないんだけどアリスとか好きかな不思議の国とか鏡の国とかのアリスルイス・キャロルねならこんなのどうかなマミヤくん fished around in his bag and took out a paperback book 何これ There was a cute drawing on the cover but more than that 猫と共に去りむ The title made me laugh. My eyes met his, and I took the book, or as I took the book, from his outstretched hand. He smiled at me. たまにはこういうのもいいんじゃないかなで,でも私はラノベはあまり読まないからそうなのなんか最初にラノベとか言ってたから好きなんだと思ったマミヤくんはラノベ好きなんだよね僕は本だったら大体好きだよだってさだって電源を使わずに心の中に引きこもるなら本が一番でしょ電源を使わず屋上にはさ残念ながらコンセントも電話線もないだからインターネットもできないしゲームだってできない<笑>確かに携帯で遊ぶのも充電っていうのが煩わしいんだよね僕って物臭だからさ持ち歩いたものの充電忘れて使い物にならなくなるんだ物草だからゲームでも携帯電話でもなく本を読むんだそんな感じもう少し真面目だったらゲームとか携帯で遊ぶんだけどね But wouldn't that be a lazier action? To not be lazy in order to be lazy? But now you're being lazy to not be lazy That... That's fucking wild dude まず授業をサボっちゃダメだよなるほどそれは見識 He's really mysterious I opened the book but m a m i a k u n was distracting me so I couldn't focus on it He interested me far more than the aging pr-、uh, pensioners and bald managers in the book m a m i a k u n は読書とか好きなのですかえさっき言わなかったっけ
そうだそうだよね<笑>まあ基本引きこもり体質だからさ読書とかは好きなんだよ引きこもりなんだわりかしね金の音授業が終わったよ What the fuck? Look at that big strong sprite of mommy a takuji Now that's a That's like an outstanding student type of sprite. I'm pretty sure if anyone showed me this, you know, in like a, you know, a list of sprites, you know, all lined up, you know, of, of all the characters is what I'm trying to say. And I came across this sprite, and you told me that that was Takuji, I would not believe you. I would not. I would just say that that's a student that maybe has the same hair color and style as him, and, you know, Hikes his pants up like all the way past his fucking、uh, rib cage, but. or all the way to the rib cage. That's all I got. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? What You two? What did he mean by saying, you two? I only saw one person. I looked at the girl standing in front of Mamiya kun. Does she go to a different school? That's not our uniform. Yeah, that's actually like a regular uniform. Though she looks a bit younger than us, too. She must be his little sister. Putting that aside, I really don't understand why he said, you too. Otomodachi? Oh. ああたまたま一緒になったんだけどね隣のクラスの高島ザクロあなたは葉崎マミヤ葉崎です In the entirety of Takuji's route we never came across his sister which I knew the existence of her based on Down the Rabbit Hole Part 2 but that was that Like, we, we never got any more information on her. She might be a vital character because of that, the doll. Because I'm pretty sure. Remember, a doll appears in, in Down the Rabbit Hole Part 2 in place of Kagami, I think is her name, one of the sisters. And she was talked to like, a, like she was a doll, like a, not a real person when she was getting tortured in Takuji's route. Are we finally gonna get some fucking answers, man? I'm getting kind of excited because the mystery might slowly but surely get unraveled before us. Or maybe I'm just jumping the gun. Mamiya kun no imoto san? Hai. So nanda. She's really cute. I don't want to bother them. She came all the way to visit him after all. So re ja. Watashi kore de. Uh, so <laughs> I turned and ran off. What is this feeling? It's like I'm embarrassed, but also very happy. I couldn't stand still, so I ended up dashing off. Oh, hell yeah, you better fucking believe we did. Alright, we're gonna end it there. I'm just. Man, I'm. I'm just like. Interested now. Like, I kind of want to continue, but I really don't have the time to do so. I'm glad I came back to this. Like, this is. This is what I like. I don't know how to explain it, but I really enjoy, you know, more and more content, story, questions, maybe some answers coming up here and there. It's always fun to, like, 
figure things out or, or maybe, you know, get closer to doing so. You know, I, I'm, pro I'm probably really off with all of my predictions so far, especially with Takushi. I, I feel like that's a little off. So here's another prediction. And don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. You know, this is just a prediction. So we're following uh, Takashima Zakurdo up until she dies. Like, that's most definitely going to happen. Um, originally, I was thinking that this was going to be like a, a spin-off story of some sort to get to know her a little better and that she doesn't die and something else happens. Maybe that's still the case. I don't know. But my biggest prediction is that, you know, we follow her and her story and all this. Her route is basically until she dies. And in that time... I remember back in uh, Takushi's route, there's like a week skip, a skip in time, and nothing really went down for him. However, now the next day, or at least I think it's the next day, we come across Takushi again, but it's also, oh, excuse me, it's not the Takushi that we encountered the previous day, which is weird, and we never saw this in his route, but we were told that there was like a fake Takuji going around saying that all this shit that's going down is wrong. What if, and, and this is this is my prediction, there's not multiple Takujis, it's all him, but he has multiple personality disorder, and it just gets worse and worse. He really goes batshit insane, and the personality that we saw was the, you know, the shy, scared, uh, piece of shit pussy ass personality that kind of just lost his mind but he still has the personalities within him where you know he's still a bit sane and he's kind like what we saw here and maybe he's not seeing things or, or something along those lines like uh the first personality that we're aware of and and yuki with that doll and and you know what I'm not, I'm not even going to worry about the doll. I don't know what the fucking deal is with the, with the sisters because there's something completely separate going on with them. And I think they're connected to uh, Yuki as well, the bully. We haven't seen him yet. I don't know if we will. Man, there's a whole lot of shit going on. This game really is something. I'm really excited to continue on. Sorry for all the rambling here at the end of this episode, but this shit really is awesome in, in a way. I'm really glad to be back to recording this after a little bit of a break. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my little ramble, my my bits of predictions. Uh, I'll just leave it at that, and we'll you know just keep going with the story. If I make any connections, then I'll bring up my predictions again. Uh, I just hope that more answers get uh, or more questions get answered, and obviously questions are just going to continuously come up. That that'll just be how it is. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, any of that other fancy jazz, and I will see you all in the next episode here in Wonderful Every Day. Take it easy, guys.